Hi Alzaman. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about Norwegian pitch accent. So if you're not really familiar with linguistics, or if you haven't really studied Japanese or anything, you might not know what pitch accent is. What pitch accent really is, is it's kind of similar to tones in Mandarin where you have this like ma, 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 ma. It's kind of similar to that, but it's not as advanced, at least in Norwegian, it's not. So how it works in Norwegian is every single word has its own accent pattern. There's two patterns and where the stress in the word is, that's where the pitch accent will come in. I'll give you an example here. The most common example is, for example, the words beans and farmers. Bønner, bønner. For those that haven't really looked into pitch accent or don't really have really sharp ears, they might not really notice the difference between bønner and bønner. Or for example, falla, falla, or hoppa. Hoppa. Because the difference is only in the intonation of the word. A lot of foreigners tend to say that Norwegian is very sing-songy, it goes up and down quite a lot. But that actually depends quite a lot on what part of Norway you're from. Because to summarize Norwegian dialects really quick, there's two huge dialect groups in Norway. There's the high-low dialect group and there's the low-high dialect group. So with the high-low, that means the pitch patterns go from high to low. And with the low-high, that means the pitch patterns go from low to high. And those two groups again are split in two, so there's four of them, where the low high are Eastern Norwegian and Trøndersk, and the high low are Northern Norwegian and Western and South Norwegian. Western and South are kind of in their own category put together. So if you don't know, Eastern Norwegian is kind of like the de facto standard Norwegian. Of course, I am a native speaker from Oslo, so I have no problem saying that my native accent is the standard pronunciation that you should have in Norwegian when you're learning it. But if you go on like Duolingo or like the University of Oslo or any sort of language learning website or app, that teaches Norwegian, most of the time, I would say probably 90, 95% of the time, maybe even more than that, you're gonna get a native speaker that has an Eastern dialect because it's the de facto standard spoken Norwegian. So Eastern Norwegian and Trøndersk, they share the same pitch patterns. They have the same pitch accent. Northern Norwegian and Western Norwegian, they have the same patterns, but the patterns they have are shifted systematically in the same way. And there are some very few places in Northern Norway and Western Norway where they don't have pitch accent at all. But in today's video, we're gonna focus more on the low high pitch patterns because that's what you're gonna be hearing when you're learning the language most of the time. So there's two pitch accent patterns. They're called pattern one and pattern two. Pitch pattern one starts low and just goes high while pattern two starts a bit higher, dips low, and then goes high. By memorizing these patterns and becoming aware of them, you too can be able to distinguish a lot of words that initially do sound the same. Take for example these two words, to play and the game. They both come from the same etymological root, ospille, to play, and spille, the game. The only difference here, again, is that et spill Spille is pitch pattern one, spille, while to play, spille, has a tiny dip before it goes high. So if you ask someone, vill du være med å spille, it means do you want to come and play. But if you say, vill du være med å spille, it sounds off to native speakers. We, it, it, it doesn't sound correct. We'll understand what you say, but it's not native. And also with the example from before, bønner, bønner. Bønner. Pattern one, bønner. farmers, while pattern two, bønner. is beans. There's also, for example, lion and the leaf. Lion is löve, pattern two, while the leaf is löve, pattern one. This not only occurs in nouns, it sometimes also occurs in verbs as well. For example, otapo and Otapo, otapo means to touch something, while otapo means to put on something. Now, how do you memorize all of this? A lot of this is arbitrary, and you just have to listen to it and become aware of it. But there are some things you can remember. A lot of verbs that end with e are pitch pattern two: spisa, snakke. Drikke, skrive. And a lot of nouns in the definite form are pattern one. Skrive, snakke, løpe, hoppe, 
When you become aware of this and pay attention to it in everyday speech, all the stuff you listen to in Norwegian on a day-to-day -day basis, I have no doubt that it will improve your listening skills so much and your understanding of Norwegian will deepen. If you have any questions around this, feel free to write a comment here. I also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Patrick Ari. If you have any ideas for a new video, feel free to ask me. And that's it for today's lesson. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, nakis.